Good afternoon and welcome to NYFP. In mid-afternoon trade on this Tuesday, we are seeing the major equity averages trade mixed with the Dow and S&P 500 above key technical levels. Joining me today is Gregory Keating of James C. Coffee Securities. Greg, good afternoon. Thanks for joining me. Good afternoon. Good to be here. Well, it's another day and another record for the Dow and S&P 500, but are you cautious about the rally we're seeing? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's tough to say. Obviously, Friday we had such a positive day. Uh, yesterday, nice follow-through, and today, nice follow-through. We're not seeing much volume, like we mentioned before, coming on here. There's not much economic data to, uh, you know, to really delve into this week. But the fact that the market is, you know, keeping the momentum, you know, going on the positive side, that, that, that is good. And Greg, indeed, it is quite on the U.S. economic calendar this week, so it does appear as though we're still digesting a global bigger picture fundamentals like the ECB rate cut, the U.S. jobs report, and some of the currency fluctuations that we are seeing. But given what we've seen from the central banks, so do you expect the stimulus to continue supporting uh, global equity markets? Yeah, I think, I mean, that, that, that theme has been set for a while now, you know, and, and it's playing out globally. We just saw that in Australia with them, um, you know, a bit of a surprise. They cut their rates. Uh, but, but that's, you know, that's the, basically the, the moniker that the that central banks have the back um, of the markets. And, and, and uh, you know, a lot of people believe that that's the reason behind this, you know, this rally. Okay, Greg, in terms of uh, earnings reports, over 80% of the S&P 500 have uh, reported their quarterly earnings, and we've seen nearly 70% of them beat, but we have seen uh, some revenue misses. So going forward, what does it tell you about what we can expect in terms of the rest of this year as well as uh, the upcoming quarter? Well, it, it tells you that you need to be cautious, right? I mean, there's only, you know, earnings is one thing, but you need revenue, you need growth. Now, I know, you know, looking to, to the back end of this year, the, the, the economy is expected to grow a little bit more, but you're not seeing that right now uh, in, in, in light of these earnings reports. Um, and, and, and you don't know if you're going to see that, right? The market is trading up, but that's some, definitely something you have to keep an eye on. You need, you need the revenue to grow. And last but not least, I do want to ask you about individual sectors. Uh, what have you been seeing in terms of earnings reports as well as economic indicators? What are you staying away from and what are you positive about? Well, I think going back to you know what, what you were mentioning about revenue growth, and I, I think that all kind of ties in towards the U.S. consumer. Uh, so a lot, a lot of the, the retail section is, is and uh, you know the, the cyclical sectors where so far this rally this year at least has been driven by the defensive sectors, the healthcare, uh, utilities. So you need some sort of transition, I, I believe, for this rally to continue. We get some uh, economic data next Monday with the retail sales report. You do see some chain store sales this Thursday, but I think in, at least with the retail, you kind of get a good sense of where the American consumer is, and that's something that I'm keeping an eye on. Okay, Greg, well, thank you so much for joining me and weighing on what's going on in the marketplace. Thank you.